Hello, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today will be the part two, a continuation of the previous video. <laughs> Actually, a few days ago, I didn't have an appetite at all and uh, was searching for recipes for days when you don't have an appetite. Then I happened to come across a YouTube video of a soba noodle restaurant in Shibuya or somewhere. That YouTube is about trying to verify whether it is better to boil or not to boil so many noodles. Do you know so many, by the way? Uh, it is generally consumed in summer season in Japan. Usually they are boiled for about two minutes and then rinsed with cold water and eaten with men to you. In recent years, Don't Boil So Men suddenly became a big hit on YouTube with over 6 million views and it quickly became a trend as if so men should not be boiled. I didn't watch that YouTube though. <laughs> In the verification YouTube of the Soba Noodle shop owner, he said, yeah, I think it is up to you to decide which is better, but I think two minutes boil is better. And the uh, Soba Noodle owner ended it softly with such a nuance somehow. Yeah, he wanted to avoid trouble. <laughs> I looked at the uh, two ways of boiling way and the not boiling way, but just to leave noodles in hot water for five minutes. And uh, it was already clear to me at once which was right, which was better, and which made more sense, I mean. Mm. The boiling method is superior because the because, you know, the boiled method uh, included uh, two times of uh, adding cold water to suppress the boiling and the overflowing of boiled water during the two minutes period. This is uh, exactly the way to lower the GI value. GI value is a measure of how easily blood glucose level rise, and uh, the higher the number, the more likely the food is to raise blood glucose levels. Uh, you know, there's a noodle called harsame which has an unusually low GI value. The reason for it is, is that the manufacturing process of harsame involves boiling the noodles in boiling water all at once and then immediately cooling them at the minus 20 degrees Celsius. As a result, the percentage of indigestible starch, it is called a resistant starch, uh, which pre prevents blood sugar from rising, is increased. And what I would like to say from this fact is that the people can believe in what is right and adapt it into their daily lives as they wish, but the way of doing things or a wisdom that strikes at the essence will still bring fundamental benefits to people when observed over the long term. This is because the Japanese diet is positioned by the unique intentional environment developed as a result of a well-balanced diet of fermented foods and uh, dietary fiber, which I'm going to explain in detail though. It may seem to be a good way to save money on utilities when it's easy in a short span and uh, avoid sticking noodles together, blah, 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 but if they are consumed in that manner for a long, ta long time, blood sugar levels are likely to rise and it is inferred that the organs are likely to be overloaded for Japanese people. After all, you are going to raise the risk to suffer from diabetes or kind of trouble and paying millions for diabetes treatment in your later years. <laughs> Such cynicism is more likely to occur when we quickly hang on to the cheap stuff and when to look at the long-term observations. So cynicism is revealed, but people never realize what is the cause. And what I'm trying to say is that in Japan, the more frivolous something is, the more it tends to spread and permit the country. This is because the uh, cheap and the uh, easy ones will always uh, permit Japanese society using this fire, engulfing energy already in the early stages of its occurrence. The same is true of the unification chart issue. Cheap imitations that don't embrace the truth quickly catch fire and uh, move to infiltrate and involve people and they survive and uh, reflect reluctantly in society. But the real thing, the joining diamond with true wisdom is different. It doesn't move the fire like this. At first it is uh, inconspicuous and it doesn't penetrate society very well. The Japanese society is a mass of contradictions. <laughs> it is also clear that uh, this is not the prophecy of Japan for in five elements. 
yet the same problem exists because this is passed off as the prophecy of Japan and becomes the establishment theory with the incoherency so far using this fire energy. But that ends today because I'm going to overturn that theory. You are going to witness its historical moment. Okay, so what I speak today is an important truth that I want the world to know. So speaking this will also determine the direction of my life. I don't know if it will be a good thing or a bad thing for my life, but I am certain that it is a fact, so I will tell the truth as it is from the aspect of in and five elements. What I'm going to talk about in this video today is quite shocking. So I will give you my background once again to avoid misunderstandings from people. As I mentioned in the first eight minutes of this video, I talked about the fact that this year we will see a clean sweep of bogus religious organizations or people doing such things. It was May 20, when the public has not yet turned its attention to religious organizations at all. And I clearly said, in this video that the horny religious bastards will be eliminated this year. And uh, I think that ultimately proves what kind of person I am. So I will emphasize it again here. The important point today is that the key to living in Japan is to remain independent as a kanoto and uh, not belong to this fire side of the world. It was recently reported that a 13 year old Japanese boy has discovered a new theorem in mathematics. This boy said it is too advanced for anyone to understand me, so I always contacted Professor blah blah blah. Uh, he's discussing with five, six professors who can understand such advanced content he's talking about. In Japan, in particular, there is no such thing as a skipping a grade, so the more decent you are, the less room you have in society or in school and they have no choice but to go it solo. However, one should not be afraid of being decent and alone. After all, some people fall into the fire energy group with low immature vibration, get people involved in the, using this fire with low vibration energy, become politicians in the flames, but uh, the genuine ones like this boy don't make that kind of move. Therefore, don't follow or belong to that energy. I have realized this as well. The content of my YouTube video is very advanced. So again, only someone with the appropriate ability and the true wisdom would understand the value of my videos. Therefore, my YouTube will never react like a normal YouTube. But that does not mean that my YouTube is wrong. Rather, it is the opposite. As far as this process is concerned, it is proof that it is real. <laughs> I don't know what year it is now, 2050 or 2100, 2200 year, or how old you are currently, in, if you are looking at my videos. But if you are the Kanoto with the high ability being bullied at the school, then you should decide not to go and find another route. You have to know the fire energy world in Japan is too low vibration for you to be wrong. Those who are not competent enough to focus on developing their own abilities will fall into this side of the world and become hard oriented. H E R D, mure, hard oriented, not solo. Such kind of world is not the world in which decent people like you live all your life. Therefore, my goal is to prove that in and five elements can be used as an academic tool and to revise textbooks in elementary and junior high school to teach it as an academic tool for living in Japan society. And I believe that uh, there is no other way to stop this abnormal number of suicides. Strangely enough, the Japanese government has no interest in this external number of suicides at all. The only way to reduce the number of suicides, what do you think? In France, they have changed the law to crack down on bullying, right? So what approach works best in Japan? One way works best for the Japanese because Japanese people have high pride. The less capable people are, the more proud they are. We can make the best use of this Japanese nature. The only thing we have to do is to teach that 
those who bully are shameful people who have failed to develop their own abilities and failed to build their own lives and get no choice to pretend having huge impact using this low vibration fire energy. It is to teach them that it is very shameful to live this way. Just teach them this fact, that's all. In other words, we just need the right education. Japan is the only country in the world where one can experience the four seasons with all five senses. However, to the best of my recollection, I have never learned about the four seasons in school. In other words, about this. Object and knowledge of whether you are a diamond in the rough, that you are in the process of somehow digging out of the earth, or whether you are falling into the hard fire will tell you if you are on the right path now or not. Then we should teach it as knowledge and encourage decent people that you are on the right path. And to be honest, I was wondering for such a long time when to mention this as I want to make it happen somehow. I decided that this year is the best because Japan will be in the tenth period in 2024 and 2025. Therefore, if I start during this period, there is a possibility that the things will disappear without taking root in Japan. Therefore, I decided to use the energy of this natural cataclysm, that is the energy to clean up the wrong flow and the shift to be replaced by the right way of doing things in 2022. So I hope miracle would happen. Uh, my energy, actually, fortunately or unfortunately, is associated with people or organizations that create the wrong flow and uh, take on the role of destroying them. That's my destiny. Uh, conversely, the fact that I am working hard on in your five elements is an uh, endorsement of the fact that in your five elements are in the wrong flow. And also my presence in Japan as a Japanese as this era can be read as a sign that Japan is moving in the wrong direction and can be read as one of those who are given the road to correct Japan as it is moving in the wrong direction. Some president of an underwear company in Japan once gave an interesting interview to the media. Her company's factory is located in Southeast Asia, and the local employees were sloppy with the fabric, leaving it on the floor and mixing it up with garbage. When the president made her first on-site inspection of the factory and saw the scene, <laughs> she was astonished and realized <laughs> that something had to be done about it. So she demonstrated herself by holding the fabric for underwear that was on the floor with dust high above her head. The fabric is very high quality and delicate. They must be treated with care like this. Since then, all employees have started to lift the fabric up <laughs> and treat it with care like uh, something sacred. If we look at the in five elements as uh, this fabric, the current situation is that in your five elements is on the floor and mixed up with the garbage of prejudice. In other words, here it is. In Japan, the in your five elements have become props for prejudice, like, uh, oh, this guy just really can't get married because he she has this heaven as zodiac sign, or he will get divorced, or this guy just really will fail on this decade because his heart big flow will turn to this zodiac sign. I always feel so what? What's the point? What's the point of bothering to point that out? Don't you have anything else to say? <sighs> uh, any first-rate fabric will become third-rate if used by those without wisdom. You know, there are many people in the world who have MBAs, but just because they have, it doesn't mean they are all top-notch managers like Kazuo Inamori. There are many business owners who have obtained MBA, but some of them have bankrupted their companies. I think in five elements is similar to that. And besides, it is because something like MBA has been established as a discipline to be studied at universities. There must be enough possibility for in five elements to be developed by opening a department in a university and teaching it to students, I believe. And it is an undeveloped field with a lot of possibilities. I always see images of teaching young people at places like Harvard or Cambridge or Oxford or universities. 
Yeah, such parallel world may exist already. <laughs> I think it depends on how well I can demonstrate the potential. For example, the adaptation of the five elements to biases, which are said to be of use only to humans to infer and identify the peak period is an Edison level breakthrough of the century. <laughs> it's a major discovery that will change the era. And I think this could be a textbook. So anyway, I know that there is a limit to what one person can do alone. So it is quite possible that the talented person somewhere in the world will happen to see my YouTube and discover its value and spread it in the right way as a sacred fabric on the head. I have come this far in life with a never fulfilled wish to always meet decent people because of the nature of Japan. But the years stand by and as I reach the stage of my later years, my life's destiny says that it will finally come true. And no doubt this YouTube will be the trigger. So I'm very much looking forward to getting involved through this YouTube with people with first class and the decent senses all over the world, though the number of such people is very small. I know. And also this video will give you a better idea of why I go it solo. And if you're wondering to live in Japan, how to? There are a lot of hints in this video. So please watch to the end. Okay, so let's go to today's theme. The first is why there are no successors to the Emperor family and what's the emperor family from the aspect of your five elements. Mm, I wondered what to start with as a starting point, but after much consideration, I decided to start here. The inauguration day of the 126th Emperor Naruhito, 2019, May 1st. This tells everything. No, do you remember what is this? This is nothing. If you have no idea what I'm talking, then please watch the former videos. <laughs> I talked a lot about nothing already, sorry. <laughs> the key to understanding this, although very difficult, is the nature of the country. Japan is the land of contradictions where people who have sacrificed their lives become symbols. Last time I explained what kind of energy this prophecy has. The energy that came out of it is more strongly than the Shikensengu and more strongly than the Fossil Magna is still the fact that the, the remembrance of the souls of the victims is, is very strongly present in this prophecy. If I had to sum up the energy of this prophecy in one word, it definitely would be Kazakami. In other words, this prophecy is filled with the memories of 3.1 million world dead Japanese people. It may be an exaggeration to say that Japan originally fostered the patriotism and brainwashed and controlled its people through the ideology and education of state Shinto, but however, this was in fact the case. The goal of national Shinto was a government centered on the emperor and both ideology and education were half enforced on the people based on the emperor system, and the dissenting opinions were strictly controlled as the country progressed toward war. Therefore, when the Akagami red paper came, one should not cry, we had to say, Banzai! Tenno Banzai! Kind of the expression of ultimate pleasure for the individual, for the individual. Otherwise, we would be arrested. It is believed that uh, to die for emperor and nation is the highest hope of a military man and for his family. So the war developed greatly with the idea that to go to war and give one's life is to be Japanese, the soul of Japan, Yamato Damashi, and patriotism. And many Japanese died sacrificially for the sake of the gods, the emperor, including my ancestors. Here I would like to introduce the best example, Isoroku Yamamoto. He was a commander-in-chief during the early years of the Pacific War and uh, oversaw major engagements including the attack on Pearl Harbor and the Battle of Midway. Perhaps abroad, especially in the US, he would be treated as a villain, but uh, the facts are quite the opposite. 
Actually, he was the only one who opposed the start of the war until the very end. He said this before his death. I have established an opinion that is precisely the opposite of my personal opinion, and I am now in a position where I have no choice but to push forward in that direction. It is truly strange. Is this also life? In other words, the more authentic you become, the more you become the head of this country, the more you will have to fight this fire energy. You will have to fight an invisible energy of a completely different nature. His position and uh, his conflict come from this very Japanese policy. Agreement 10 of the Potsdam Declaration contains the following terms of reference. Our will is not to enslave the Japanese people as a race, nor to destroy them, but all war criminals, including those who have abused the prisoners of war in Japan, should be punished. The government of Japan should strengthen the revival of democratic tendencies among the Japanese people and eliminate all obstacles to this revival and respect for freedom of speech, religion, and thought as well as for fundamental human rights, should be established. Because Americans feared this Japanese spirit of sacrificing and rushing in like Hazakami. American people probably thought Japanese were brainwashed and crazy. But no, 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 no. The Imperial Narcissus in Agra day of nudging energy insists. The 3.1 million world that thought, what the hell? Is the point here, pretending not to know and performing Tenno Banzai to death? When we all know that it is pointless to go to war. This in aggression day asserts that the symbol of Japan exists on the basis of a contradiction. In other words, the universe says that this existence cannot be justified. From the Emperor's point of view, how this contradiction has been highlighted is that it has been visualized in the phenomenon of the lack of a successor. Unlike the system of first child will be the successor in other countries like royal family in England, the Japanese imperial family is based on the principle that the male line of descent from the first emperor succeeds to the imperial line. That is the value of the emperor. And the inability to continue that tradition means, in other words, the end of the imperial family. The fact that this Gyokudose, Wisdom 1, exists in the middle of Japan's chest means that if it dies, Japan will collapse. People abroad or some Japanese will always say that uh, yeah, the first child born should be the emperor, regardless of whether it is male or female, then everything going well. And that is not possible in the first place. And this has been denied from the universe already. This is a policy of Emperor Narahito's only daughter, Aiko-sama. It was the energy of repulsion. I, I have explained this repulsion energy many times in other videos. This energy says that uh, it is her destiny to go elsewhere without succeeding to the Emperor's family. The universe says her life will only be operational when she leaves the Emperor's household. In other words, the universe insists that she is not qualified to take over the emperor's household at all. This means that the universe has insisted that the firstborn child theory is a failed theory. Then, how can emperors inherit it with such a large number of women? Who should figure it out? The universe asks the emperors, not to national people or citizens. What do you think? This indicates about the situation. What does this situation with only women represent and what does the universe want the emperors to think? It represents red paper, Akagami. The red paper exploited the most important mainstay of the family, the young man. All the men are left behind and all the ladies of the family are at a loss. What the hell am I going to do now without my husband, without my son, without my father? The emperors are experiencing this situation vicariously through the situation of no male offspring being born. The universe does not think 
based on the Potsdam Declaration or any other human ego created definition. Like the emperor was only leaning at the top as a formality, not directly commanded by the emperor, so the emperor is not directly to blame. No, universe says no. It is just simple. What you put out is what you get back. That is what the universe insists. I have said it many times in other video, but justification does not work. The emperor's family proves it. I am speaking exactly as it is written. I cannot tell lies by twisting what is not written in a convenient way. If I did, I would be blaspheming 3.1 million victims. Also, when we look at the prophecy of successive emperors, a very interesting truth emerges. The 122 major emperor and 123rd emperor have Mizunoe and Tsuchinoto, and the 124th emperor has Mizunoe. These energies are the garden deities for Japan, the 1966 February 11th, the prophecy of Japan. In other words, this relationship means that the emperor is the protector of the country. The emperor is the guardian deity for Japan. The emperor's energy works as the guardian deity for Japan. And what a surprise. There is, please, 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 look at the prophecy of the 125th Emperor Akihito. He has a kinoe ne. Kinoe is ut plus, and ne is math. Uh, Kinoe ne is the first number of the 60 heaven earth zodiac signs in total. And this is in the middle pillar, which represents the family line. So this means that there has been a major switch in the flow of the emperor family since the 125th generation. And this energy is emphasized as rich in relationships. In other words, it is becoming more and more visible. In other words, for Emperor's family, to which of the three patterns previously described does this rich relationship correspond? Please think about it yourself. The point is, how was it switched from his era? For him, the guardian deities are Hinoe and Kanoto. What does this mean? A reversal has occurred. In other words, from the 125th Emperor, the nation has converted its energy to protect the emperor. I am saying that the emperor Akihito has come to be protected by the nation of Japan, though the emperor is supposedly the protector of the nation. And such a reversal phenomena has occurred. And the 126th emperor Naruhito, it is really interesting. See, the guardian that is at Tsuchinoto and Mizunoe and the Imigami is fire. In other words, this constitution of May 3rd, 1947 is a guardian deity for Emperor Naruhito and the energy of February 11th, 1966, the prophecies of the energy that shows the true Japan is Imigami for the Emperor. What a contradiction. What a big contradiction. Nantari Amujun. This inauguration date also mentioned this contradiction. That is why he is inaugurated on the energy of the Natchin. We cannot kidding the eye of the universe. Now you see how unusual it is to start things off with Natchin energy, don't you? And what kind of person did the emperor? Who is built on this contradiction? Mari. Actually, he got married exactly the same Kazari. Masako-sama. He's actually a person who has the exact same karma as the emperors. From the aspect of karma, Kazarity, she is exactly the same position with Emperor Naruhito. Her family lineage is thus. Her maternal grandfather was a man named Yutaka Egashira, who was actually the president of the company that caused the Minamata disease. Minamata disease caused a pollution problem on a scale unprecedented in the world, with approximately 50,000 people affected by the disease being eligible for relief from the government and the other organizations. In other words, many more people than 50,000 are actually affected and still suffering from that. This is a timeline of how Minamata disease occurred and what has happened so far. 
1932, Miramata plant of Nippon Nitrogen Fertilizer, now Chiso Corporation, began operation of mercury catalyzer acetaldehyde production. In 1946, Japan nitrogenous fertilizer discharged acetaldehyde and acetic acid factory wastewater into Miramata Bay without treatment. This triggered the emergence of Miramata disease. Uh, this is known throughout the world. Yutaka Egashira, on the other hand, joined the Industrial Bank of Japan after graduating from Tokyo, Tokyo Imperial University with a degree in law in 1933. And in 1958, he returned to the Industrial Bank of Japan and became a director. And in 1961, he became a managing director. In 1962, with the Industrial Bank of Japan as his main bank, he was sent to New Japan Nitrogen Fertilizer as a senior managing director at the request of its president, Shohei Nakayama, to help rebuild the company, which was in financial difficulties due to the Minamata disease program and the long strike caused by labor strife. In January 1965, the company changed its name to Chiso Corporation. The annual shareholders' meetings of Chiso held on November 28, 1970, and May 26, 1971, were greatly disrupted by a confrontation with the one share movement. Egashira took responsibility for the confusion at the general meeting and announced his resignation in July 1971 at a meeting of the board of directors on July 27th of the same year. He resigned as president and assumed the position of chairman of the board of directors. In May 1973, he resigned as chairman of CHISO and assumed the position of advisor to the board of directors. It seems that the Imperial Household Agency had requested a background check to see if there were any problems with the Crown Prince and the Crown Princess Masako's marriage. It seems that they decided that the grandfather Yutaka Egashira was not the one who caused Minamata disease and that he was merely being asked to cover up the problem. However, the way he cleaned up the mess was riddled with problems. In fact, it is fair to say that this problem was magnified because of him. In July 1959, when the organic mercury theory was proposed by Kumamoto University and the Food Sanitation Investigation Committee of the Ministry of Health and Welfare, Chiso asserted that the organic mercury used at the plant was inorganic mercury and that the plant had nothing to do with organic mercury. And furthermore, the chemical industry was involved to dispute the organic mercury theory. This was due to the fact that the mechanism of generation of organic mercury from inorganic mercury had not been explained theoretically at the time. In 1967, about 11 years after the discovery of the disease, it was finally experimentally proven that inorganic mercury is converted to material mercury by reproducing the environment of a reactor at a chist factory. However, the idea of that factories are not responsible for Minamata disease unless the causal relationship between wastewater and the Minamata disease can be proven has a serious problem that effective measures to prevent the spread of the damage will be taken over time with little success, resulting in a large number of victims and causing serious damage not only to the local community but also to the company due to the increased compensation. As a result, the plant has caused serious damage not only to the local community but also to the companies themselves due to the increased compensation. In other words, Yutaka Egashira was guilty of a great crime by continuing to operate acetaldehyde production at the Minamata factory until May 18, 1968, for the above reasons. Despite the fact that the federal Minamata disease patients and the death from it had already occurred before his appointment. A newspaper published on May 26, 1971, from Kumanichi newspaper, attests to this. President Egashira, seated in the chairman's chair, opened the meeting completely at the pace of the company. The 30 minutes passed in vain as the general meeting staff on the stage led the noisy, repeated raising of hands and the clapping of hands. Here it says, silent anger. I had hoped to have my own child held by the executives of Chiso so that they would feel a little sympathy for me, but they paid no attention to me. I was so disappointed that I just screamed, Mother! Mother! I knew those people had no regard for human life. I don't want to bring my ugly child here. Mr. Ushijima, who wrote to the general meeting for the first time, said, 
Last year, I was not able to attend to the poor health, so I was hoping to make it this year. However, it is a pity that I was only allowed to enter the meeting hall and couldn't do anything. I wanted to let Egashira hold the embryonic patient. Still, Chis Corporation hired the guards like the gang stars, which is just like a murderous company, Chis Corporation. Of course, I will attend the next shareholders meeting as long as I can. Here is also what it says, The Brutal Way by Ishimure Michiko-san. She is the author of the book, Kugai Jodo. This is very famous. This book clearly describes the movement of fishermen and who were victims of Minamata disease, as well as the suffering and hope of the patients. The book is not only the starting point for understanding Japan's pollution problems in the 1950s and the 1960s, but it is also a masterpiece that is regarded as world literature of the 20th century because of the universality of its profound questions and messages. So if you do like, I strongly recommend this book. She said here on this newspaper, the brutal way of Chiso have been exposed in the light of the day. Do those people have nothing but hearts to mock when they see their patients? I expected it to turn out this way this time. The patients were calm and composed the whole time, holding the ihai in their hands and continuing to chant in a small voice. Through the accusation campaign, I was again struck by the humanity of the patients. And I read about the trial, the warranty, and the many other things. In short, what he did, what Egashira did with this company was to show an apologetic performance and the hire a violent gang to clean up the mess and run away without paying money. This is the truth. Then where and how does the blame appear? It comes out this way to his descendants. Masako Sam has been frequently absent from official duties due to her poor health for many years, and the public sometimes has been calling her to, If you don't work as a member of the Imperial Family, then leave the Imperial Family! And many articles of criticism have erupted. The point is that she is unable to carry out the duties of the position she is supposed to do for such a long time. And also, there are kind of details. Yeah. No, I don't want to leave. <laughs> Sorry. So something like that, but these things are just the uh, tip of the iceberg. If we try to put it in the name of the disease, we have to describe it as an adjustment disorder. However, it is far too long to be just an adjustment disorder, as the academic paper says. They are simulating the lives of people who have suffered from the Minamata disease, which has damaged their nerves and left them with no freedom in their lives. This is also a very famous interview scene, Narahito-sama answering about Masako-sama. Why was Masako-sama denied her personality by the people around her? Because Masako-sama's blood has constructed her life with denial of the people of Minamata disease until today. This means he cannot recognize about it, that's why he also keeps suffering. He does not understand the background, how things came so far. That's why he also suffers. Actually, there is a very good example that illustrates this situation. There was a lady who had been a student at my studio for several years. Her husband made 5.5 billion yen in his first two years in business, but then the company disappeared. Since they are very wealthy, they can spend money as much as they want. For example, she said she traveled and stayed at a seven-star hotel in Dubai. I guess she had been married for six or seven years and had no child. But finally, her first son was born. So I would go out of my way to visit her house and uh, give her congratulatory gifts. It was kind of a relationship, but gradually she became very overtly strange and uh, I was very uncomfortable with her times. She used to say things like this. Uh, There's no way this is going to work. Life can't work out with so much money coming in like this way. Tired of pessimistic variations of her own life and uh, started to say things like, you are life, it's about me. Your life will surely not go well in the future. Huh? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Don't you think? She's very rude, right? Her brain was completely off. That's what I felt. And uh, one day I was always getting sales calls on my work cell phone from a strange company. I never picked up the phone, but they were unusually persistent in the traveling. <laughs> what the hell is this company? One day I finally decided to investigate. Then, to my astonishment, 
It was her husband's company. It seems that the idiot staff with no proper education at her husband's company were calling all over the place to various companies for sales. How did I know? A storm of criticism on the internet about their company. There are many comments like this. They are making money selling bogus products. I want my money back. This company stole my money. I demand my money back. I didn't really understand what the business was all about, which was the key, as, I, as all I got were heart-wrenching comments of criticism. The company eventually got to split up. Her husband had an affair and divorced her, and she's now a single mother. I think she's really alone because she has a conflict with her parents and they don't get along. The reason I know this kind of stuff is because the lady her husband had an affair with was a famous person. The students she had always said, there is no way this happiness can last. And this is, that is exactly what happened on her. What I'm trying to say is that the money earned is built on the resentment of others. Therefore, as long as a person is living on the money that is filled with resentment, that resentment will gradually become a part of his or her life. So she used to say that life could never be this good, but that would be the wish of these resentful people. In other words, they lived on the money they earned from people's grudge and gradually their lives became what the people they resented wished for. Masako-sama's situations can be said to be almost the same. There is nothing strange about that, it is just something that happens as a matter of course. The logic of the causality created by the emperor's family and the Masako-sama's family is exactly the same. The emperor is only a symbol and uh, was not directly involved in the war, therefore he is not guilty of being a war criminal. Masako-sama's grandfather didn't directly cause the Minamata disease, so there is no problem. These two are causalities stemming from the same logic, that is why they are husband and wife, that is why they attract each other. The important point is why would the two people who have created such an unusual victim become national symbols? That is what this policy answers. Japan is made up of the souls of the, those who sacrificed their lives. Therefore, only by making offerings to those who have sacrificed their lives and honoring their death can the energy be turned into yang. In other words, this energy doesn't mean that the emperor is a symbol and that we should honor him, but that we should honor those who have sacrificed. This is precisely the meaning of Naruto becoming the emperor on this day, Masako becoming the Kogo on this day. This is not saying that the emperor is to be honored as a precious being, but that we Japanese should have respect for those who sacrificed and died. And the victims are what Japan stands for. It says, don't forget that. So they, uh, Naruhito Tenno and Masako-sama, have become symbols of Japan. But in fact, they are not really symbols. And the real symbols are the people who are sacrificed by them, which has illuminated the contradiction. All using the same logic, right? Do you notice that? So what is the emperor's family? The answer to that is this. Logic of contradiction is the emperor family. They acceded to the emperor on the day of contradiction because the universe wanted the world to notice. The real symbol is not the emperor. The real symbol is the victim. The universe insists that the beings who should really be honored are the victims. ちょっとここはすごく重要だから日本語でも説明しておきます。重要なのはなぜこのような異常な犠牲者を出した二人が国の象徴になるのかという点です。これがその答えです。日本は命を犠牲にした人たちの魂で成り立っている。従って命を犠牲にした人たちを供養し、その死を称えることによってのみエネル
。実は本当のシンボルではなく、本当のシンボルは彼らによって犠牲になった人たちであるという矛盾を照らし出しているんです。全部同じ理屈でしょう。全部同じロジックでしょうよ。それに気がつきますかそしてこの矛盾の理論が天皇家なんです。彼らがこの矛盾の日に天皇に即位したのは宇宙が世界に気づかせたいからですよ。まさにこの日、なる人様が天皇になることに意味はここにあるんですよ。雅子様がこの日に皇后になられることに意味はここにあるんですよ。これは天皇を尊い存在として上山へと言っているのではない。しかし私たち日本人は犠牲となり死んでいった人たちに敬意を払うべきだってことなんです。そして犠牲者こそが日本の象徴である。それを忘れるなってことが書いてあるんだ。I know that I'm speaking an inconvenient truth for Japan.The old guard will try to keep the person like me in the dark.But I am accompanied by 3.1 million war dead, their families, and those who died as victims of Japan's evil nature.As long as those people wish, the truth I'm stating to come out to the world. What I'm saying will not be kept in the dark. It will surely see the light of day. And the certain facts lead us to a renewed admiration and respect for the generosity of the victims. Here is what the victims want us to do and how Japan can develop. Look at this far left pillar. It's a cannot ox. And look at the pillar to the left of Emperor Naruhito. It is cannot snake. What does this say to us, to Japanese people, to the emperor, and to the people all over the world? This is Dai Hankai, do you remember? That the heavenly zodiac signs are the same, and the earthly zodiac signs are the combination of snake and ox, which makes a lot of metal energy. This is saying that the emperor's soul is Kanato. This is equated with the souls of those who have sacrificed and died for Japan. This Kanato insists that his soul is same value and worth with them. The universe insists that the Emperor Naruhito should be close to the souls of those who have sacrificed and died for you, died for Japan, and spend his life trying to understand them. And only, only by doing so, Japanese nation will be the phenomenon of Dai Hankai. Japanese nation will develop. Greatly, the universe claims. <laughs>